Action. Ten minutes. <laughs> Lesson 19, page number 94. Oh. Value word problems and angle, angle means angle, angle, angle. You're saying that a lot of times. You did. All right, so example number 19.1. One of the things that I was explaining last week is um, sometimes we're going to deal with the value of money, and sometimes we're going to deal with how many coins we have, and in this one we're dealing with both. Because I'm giving you certain problem solving hints, and you're going to have to uh, try to figure out the rest. So Karamagu. Why in the world anybody would name their child Karamagu is beyond me. She had 50 nickels and dimes. So how many nickels did she have? 50. Okay, she had 50. Oh, I don't know. We have no idea. All we know is she has some nickels and some dimes. And when you put them together, you get 50. So the number of nickels plus the number of dimes equals 50. Okay? So you're going to write down as many different equations as you can. And in this lesson, it'll always be two. Okay? Two variables, you're going to need another equation. It also says that when she took all those nickels and dimes, added them together, they equaled $4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it all in pennies. Okay? So I'm going to say that she has five cents times however many nickels she has. So let's say that she has five times ten. Let's say that she has five nickels. How much value are those five nickels? Well, five is the number of nickels that she has times the value of those nickels gives you 25 cents. We do the same thing with the number of dimes. So we have 10 cents times the number of dimes and that will give us What's the number am I going to put down there? 400. 400 because I have $4. So I'm just taking all the cents off and it's just easier to deal with whole numbers, 5, 10, and 400, than it is 0 0.05, 0 0.10, Where and 400. Five. Fi this 5 here is, a nickel is it's five worth oh. 5 cents. And that's the same with the 10, Michael. And at this point, I have a system of equations. And I can do one of two things. I can do substitution by making, you know, the number of nickels equals 50 minus the number of dimes. Or I can do elimination. I can multiply that top equation by either a 10 or a 5 to get them to be the same so that I can, I can do that. So what do you want to do? Elimination or substitution? Elimination. Okay, so what do you want to multiply the top by, Elias? Negative 5. Okay, so we're going to multiply the top by negative 5. So, number of nickels plus, I'm going to kind of draw this out a little bit further. Whoops, I don't want my parentheses there. I want it there. Okay, so that gives me, whoops. Uh, no, erase that. Okay, so that minus 5 and B equals negative 250. And then I've got my 5 and N plus 10 and D equals 400. Okay, so at that point, um, I can start combining. So I'm going to add these two, and I get 0. Add these two and get what? Five. Five equals 150. So I divide by five, divide by five. My number of dimes is what? Three. Three. 30. So I have 30 dimes. So if I have 30 dimes, how many nickels do I have? 20. I have 20 because I know that total oh. is 50. So I have 30 dimes, 20 nickels. And that's all they were interested in, how many of each kind. If they asked for what the value was, you'd have to take your 30 dimes times what they're worth mm -hmm. to get $3, and then 20 nickels times their value, 5, which is going to give you $2. Or, I'm sorry, $1. And that would give you your, your 4. 
Okay. If you look at example 19.2, we've got fishmongers. <laughs> fishmongers. They're people that sell fish. Why would they call them mongers? I don't know. <laughs> They just are. Just like if somebody fixes wheels on a carriage back in the day, they were called wheel wheel rights. <laughs> and Wayne rights. Instead of wheel fixer? I think they're wheel fixers. Yeah, Alright, so we have cod. <laughs> <laughs> we're selling it for six pence each. So instead of using pence, let's just use cents. And we're selling mussels. For a penny oh, each or one pence. <laughs> Harriet goes and buys 26 fishies. Okay? We don't know how many mussels, how many cod. Well, I guess mussels aren't fishies, but anyway. We don't know how many of each she bought, but she bought 26 and in the process spent 80. Six cents. And the question says, how many cod fishies did she buy? It's the exact same way of that last line. Fish for a very little line. We take the number of cod plus the number of mussels, and that gives us how many? Twenty-six. Twenty-six, because all we're caring about is the number. Now we're going to go to price. She bought cod fish. For a nickel, so a nickel or six cents, six cents times the number of codfish, plus one cent times the number of mussels, and that equals eighty-six cents. And at this point, you use either substitution or elimination, put the things together. But the key thing in these is you need to look at what they're asking you to find. They may not even. I mean, let's say that you end up finding the number of mussels. Well, that might be fine, but that's not where you're done because it's saying how many codfish did she buy? And you're like, okay, well, she bought um, 14 mussels. That means she had to obviously have 12 codfish. So you can always figure out the right answer, but you got to make sure you're finding the right answer there. Okay, and the answer in this one is uh, 12. All right, angle, 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 pretty simple stuff. All they're saying is if we have two triangles, okay, and this and this are congruent, these and these are congruent, then for sure That's the no. third one <laughs> has to be congruent. That one's like a four and that one's like that's yeah, that's pretty much all they're saying. If two of them are the same, the three of them are. The three of them are the same. Okay, which is common sense, but oh, I get it. That's what they want to spend a whole page a telling you that. Is it really? I'm long glad long? they take. Hmm? That's all it is. It's a whole page. Well, they give you. Um, thank you. They give you a couple or one problem in particular. Let's see, let me just put it up here. Um, here, 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 and here. And they say that this is 5, this is x, y, 7, 4, 6. And then they're saying that this and this are the same. And this and this are the same because they're vertical, which means these are the same. And what they want you to do is find out what x and y are. So it's basically that proportion thing. So it's like 7. 5 is to 9.30. x equals, thank you, equals Four. 7. Well, we don't want to do 7 is to y. Um, as 4 is to 6. So we've got, you know, this 4 is to this 6, and this 5 is to this X. Okay, see you later, soccer people! So, 